And now it is time to do the actual work, to create a release burndown chart from scratch. Luckily, I've collected all information for our release burndown chart, so we can use it to create a release burndown. So after this lecture, you will know what information you will need to create a burndown chart in your work environment. And also after this lesson, you will know how to create your release burndown chart in Microsoft Excel. Now, please go to the resource section and open the release plan information, which is a Microsoft Excel doc document, and see what is in there and what are the inputs. Now, here are the important facts for our assignment. We have four sprints. We are in the third sprint of our development, and we know that since we don't have any data in the sprint co completed in column, which I'm going to show you in just a second. We are going to create a release burn down for the work completed thus far. This is very important. We need to demonstrate the change in number of user stories in our release plan. At the last sprint review meeting, the team has decided to remove some user stories from the project because stakeholders would like it to include some more important things. And we also need to include a prediction line in our release burn down. And this prediction line should predict the velocity of the team should maintain if they want to complete all the user stories currently in the backlog over five sprints. Now let's get started. And this is our release plan information Microsoft Excel document. Now, as you can see, there are over 40 user stories that I divided in four sprints. So this is um, user stories in sprint one. And this is sprint two, sprint three, and sprint four. Since our focus will be just on creating burn down chart, the content of all these user stories is not important for us at this moment. And also we are assuming that our scrum team created a good job with ordering user stories for each sprint. Before we start, I just want to tell you that there are many ways you can do this correctly, but I will show you my method of doing it. And later on in this assignment, you will have the opportunity to do this assignment by yourself. And you can go with the method that I'm about to explain, or you can use some other method that you might be familiar with. Now let's start with highlighting removed and added user stories. So as you can see, in this last column, we had um, user stories that was added or removed. So first, let's select them so they, so let's highlight them. Okay, now we have here added removed added and now I will copy this and I will add these user stories at the end of the sprint one so this is our uh, sprint one now sprint 2 and we will add this at the end of the sprint 2 and now we have sprint 2 sprint 1 sprint 2 sprint 3 and sprint 4 
Okay. Now we will create table on the right side here. So just follow the steps. I will first shrink this column so we can have some bigger space here for our new columns. And we will use the stories that are added, use the stories that are removed, or completed, work remaining. In this column will be work remaining plus work completed so for the sprint one we will include the total amount of user story points which is 84, we will not include these um, user stories that are added later on. So all others will be included and the total number of the user story points is 84. So let's type 84 here. The number 84 represents the work remaining plus work completed. At the end of the sprint one, we have situation that some new uh, user stories are added at the end of the sprint one. So the total number of story points that are added at the end of the sprint one is six. So we will type six here. We don't have removed user stories at the end of the sprint one and uh, so we will type here zero. And at the beginning of the sprint 2, we have 84 plus 6 minus 0 equals 90. And if the team managed to complete 20 story points in the sprint 1, as you can see, we have a sum of 20. 20, we will type the work completed here at the beginning of the sprint 2. 20. And now we will get the 90 minus 20 equals 70. So we have at the beginning of the sprint 2, we have 70 story points remaining. In the sprint 2, we have another user story which is added at the end of the sprint 2 with two story points. So we will add these two story points at the end of the sprint 2. Zero is removed. And at the beginning of the sprint 3 we have 90 plus 2 plus 0 equals 92. And uh, for the work completed, we have a 20, which is uh, from the previous sprint, plus 15. 15 we will get when we combine all work done in the sprint number 2. As you can see, here is the number of some 15. So 15 and plus 
this one which is also completed in spring 2 so we will add plus 3 equals 38 so the 38 is a work completed so 38 story points were completed at the beginning of the sprint 3 so as for work remaining we have 92 minus 38 equals 54 so we have 54 as a work remaining at the end of the sprint 2 now let's continue now we have removed two story points in the sprint 3 okay and no story points were added we'll type here 0 then we will type here 2 so 2 this is 2 and results for the sprint 3 is 92 plus 0 minus 2 equals 90 so far they completed 38 story points so we will type here 38 and plus 16 which are com they are completed in the sprint uh, 3 let's check this so this is sprint number 3 and we will sum this it's 5 plus 11 it's 16 so this number 16 equals 54 90 minus 54 equals 36 now in order to create a work remaining versus work complete burn down chart from this data we will create a new table and from that table we will create our chart Okay, and we will put here the data from this table so for the sprint one as a work remaining we will put here 84 and then we have work completed is zero and let's go to sprint number two um, in the sprint two we have 70 And then we have work completed 20. And for the sprint 3, we have 54. And we have 38. And for the sprint 4, we have 36. And we have 54. Now, we will add two more sprints and before we create and before we insert our chart one thing is missing here this is uh, our prediction line so if you recall from our previous lesson we will use a starting point for our prediction line 19 which is the latest current sprint so we will use this 90 and then divide 19 with five sprints so our prediction line on the sprint one is 19 minus 18 is 72 minus 
18 is 54 minus uh, 18 is 36 minus 18 is 18 and minus 18 is 0. And now we are ready to create our burndown chart. So select all this, go to insert, go to chart. Just you ne just need to click right click, change chart type, click on combo, and from the prediction line choose a line. And for the work remaining, choose this one, stacked column. And also for the work completed, choose stack column. And click OK. And this is our first chart. And we can change format here. So we can stand out a little bit more. We can change ti chart title. And this is it. And now let's create. And now let's create adjustable floor burndown chart. So we will copy this table. We will copy this table just below this chart here. And we will keep the work remaining and the prediction line columns. And this one work completed, we will change that. We will change that into added or removed. So in this column we will put all these yellow and red ones. Okay. So in the first sprint added or removed is zero. Added at the end of the sprint one. So this refers to the sprint two. So the work that we added will be will have minus in front and the work that is removed will have plus in front. So at the end of the sprint one, we added six story points. Story points, okay. And um, in the sprint three, we have another two story points and then we will add these two story points to this six and then we will have minus eight. So minus six minus two is minus eight. And in the sprint four, we will remove two and uh, we will have minus t minus eight plus two is minus six. And we will keep this minus six, minus six until the end. And one more thing that we need to correct here is that it's a prediction line. In this case, the prediction line would start with 84 as the most current sprint. Minus 18, 66, minus 18 is um, 48. 48 minus 18 is uh, 30. 30 minus 18 is um, 12. 12 minus 18 is minus 6. And this is it. And then we will select all this data. And we will go to insert. Choose this one, line with markers. Click here and and this is adjustable floor burndown chart.